Hi there, Soapsters. I was watching a video the other day and the maker in it claimed that she alone had discovered this magical recipe that was cured in just 48 hours rather than 46 weeks, but then went on to say that the saponification was complete in 48 hours and the bars were ready to use. Now, none of the information they gave in that video was incorrect, but it did make it seem that she had come up with this magical formula that she alone knew this secret and that she had researched all of this magic within the soaping industry. And I thought I'd try and clarify what they meant in the video and also say that it's not magic, it's just science and anyone could look this up. Let's start with some dictionary definitions of saponification and cure. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, saponification is the chemical reaction between a fat and or oil and an alkali that produces soap. The Cambridge Dictionary definition of cure is to preserve food by salting, drying or smoking, or to harden rubber, plastic, concrete, etc. after manufacturer by a chemical process. So saponification is the chemical reaction undergoing soap, and the curing of soap is where it undergoes hardening. So those two things do go together quite well. So why was the video confusing and, and were they at all correct? So let's look at saponification. Saponification is that chemical reaction of the soap and the oils and butters. And yes, after 48 hours, a bar of soap should be fully saponified, meaning that it has no residual sodium hydroxide in it, as long as you use the correct amount of lye to the oils that your uh, recipe requires. So is it safe to use? Yes. Absolutely, they are correct. You can use a bar of soap after 48 hours. So why would we then want to cure a bar of soap? Well, curing is the process of hardening, and that's exactly what we're looking to do with soap bars. And in order to harden the soap bar, rather than using a chemical process, all we need to do is drive off the water from it, evaporate as much water from it as possible. And this will help with the longevity and the uh, hardness of the bar. Is it worth curing soaps? In my opinion, absolutely yes. Driving off water from a bar will always help, I think. And if you sell soaps, uh, I think giving maximum longevity to your customers is a great thing. I think it encourages people to then repeat purchase from you because they appreciate the value for money that you're giving them. Did this maker find a magical way of curing soaps quicker? No. There's really no better way to uh, drive the water off of a soap bar than by allowing the water to evaporate. Good airflow across the bars is great. Putting them into somewhere that has that airflow is fantastic. Um, and just letting them sit for even two or three weeks is going to give you a far better bar than using something that is maybe 48 to 72 hours old. So the conclusion for this is, if you uh, want a really good long lasting bar, harder oils and using a cure time is always going to give you a far, far better product in the long run. However, if you want to use your bars after 48 hours, and I do recommend you test your bars with a strip of pH test just to make sure that there isn't any residual lie in there, you can do. OK, this is one of those things is that I think there's a lot of confusion around it, that people find it difficult to to get the right information from the right place. And if you really want to deep dive into uh, soap making and the science behind it, there is a great book called Scientific Soap Making. And I'll leave a link in the uh, description box below so you can go and find that. So, soaps, as I hope that's helped you kind of understand what saponification is versus cure. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye.